Welcome to Q&A Thursday. I am your coach, Tandor Tanavoli. Let's begin. I recently broke up with my girlfriend and I'm having a hard time adjusting to the new status. I've been keeping busy with many things, but I can't move forward. I don't regret the breakup. I just need to find a way to find my balance again. We all know the breakups bring a lot of emotional roller coaster for us. And once you map out your emotions and you know where you stand, it makes it easier to move forward, to go forward and to heal faster. So I'm not going to keep you waiting, so let's get to tip number one. Make peace with it. Making peace with why you broke up. And one thing you can do is remind yourself why you broke up in the first place. Why didn't this relationship work? One good reason that I can think of for you right now is because you obviously weren't happy where you were at. People search for happiness, for that feeling of joy, of fulfillment. And obviously that was not serving you in this relationship and that's why the breakup is happening. So keeping that in focus would help you and remind you why you are where you are. This is something that you have to go through to get to that happiness, to get what you were asking for. So keep that in mind. And that gets us to number two. Look ahead. Before this breakup happened, you had goals, you had dreams, you had set your mind of what you want to do, who you want to be in the future. And just because this breakup has happened and your emotions are all mumble jumbled, doesn't mean those goals, those dreams, those the purpose that you need to serve has gone away. What I suggest you to do is surround yourself with people who are high achievers, who are already achieving their goals, who are already in that path. Those people can help you take your focus off of what was in the past and what you've left behind and look forward to the future. You want to surround yourself with people who lift your spirit. Sit down and write down all those goals and your new goals and what you want to achieve, who you want to be, and then look around you and pick the like-minded people who have the same goals and just surround yourself with them. Which now brings us to number three. Avoid blame. People who constantly blame others for everything that's happening to them, always blaming someone else on the outside and not take responsibility for themselves. If you constantly blame your ex for not being able to achieve your goals, for setting you back, for not delivering their part of the relationship, if you're constantly blaming someone, you're going to get stuck in a very negative zone. What you need to do is avoid the blaming. Look at that person. There's a person there that you chose to have a relationship with. So they can't be that bad after all. And now that you know it's not working, doesn't make them a bad person. Just means your paths are different. You cannot move forward because your goals and your dreams are no longer moving in the same direction. And if you really want to heal, you got to start thinking where you could have gone better and where you can improve in the future so you know yourself better, so you do better next time. Not with the same person, but with the next person that comes along. So you gotta get this process going as we speak. As I said in tip number two, that you need to look ahead and start building, not just for business, but also for personal development. So think about that, number four. It's back to you again. Becoming single after a long time of being in a relationship, it's a kind of odd. You feel, uh, you feel a little off-centered. Things that you used to share with another person, things that you talked to someone else, whether you were down, whether you were happy, you had great news or you didn't. Now, all of a sudden, it's you on your own and you're looking around trying to find a replacement. Instead of doing so, which a lot of people do, they want to replace someone else in there, whether it's a friend, whether it's another person to get into a relationship. That's an emptiness syndrome, which is also known as a rebound. People want to replace that because they're missing that attachment, feeling of sharing. Now that you're single and you don't have that, it's time to redirect your focus. When you're redirecting your focus, the concentration goes on only you. So you need to start building your own kingdom now. So start using time for that. A great point that you can start that off with 
is remind yourself that before you got into this relationship, you were single. And what were you doing that made you feel so alive as a single person? The things that you did that mostly interested you and built your confidence up, what were they? Bring that back into your body, pick up the same activities, do it the same, and do it enough till it becomes a habit again. It only takes three weeks to turn an activity into a habit. Only three weeks and move on to the next level. So with that being said, I hope these tips have been helpful to you. And if any of you out there have something to add to that, I would love to hear it. And I can't wait to see you all next week. Until then, be happy and healthy.